Greetings Commanders, this is a short video on how to use the Surface Scanner. Now you will have to buy a Surface Scanner before you head out and then you allocate it to a fire group like I have here, which is number one, B1. You should have already used your FSS scanner to locate planetary bodies. So what we're going to do is going to pick one of these to have a scan. I'm just going to head straight over there and scan it. Over there. Once the bottom number gets to zero, one, zero, reduce your speed to 75%. Stop you overshooting the mark. Okay, we're approaching the moon. Now I usually aim for the body to fill about three quarters of the HUD. You can scan big bodies like this, but it does take a while. So I'm just going to show you how to do something small, like a small moon or planet. The same principle applies to both. And the surface scanner has another function that will help you with mining. But I'll show that in the next video. Okay, we're getting close now. Slow down. At the moment we're out of range for the surface scanner. We just need to wait until that's in range. So we're just going to fill up the rest of the cord right now. So that's actually in range, but I'd like to get a little bit closer. So just three quarters bigger than the rectangle. There we go. So click the fire group one. This is a two probe. You can see that on the right. And what you want to do is shoot one at the front. Then you want to aim past it. That's actually the horizon, those three lines. That's the horizon. And then follow it out until it says miss and then push it slightly back in fire and that will actually go to the back of the moon or planet there you go 100 percent and it has uh, geological and human on board and then you just come out of it and there you go you're done Let's quickly check to see if there's something bigger that we can have a look at. They're all big. But something as big as this is a variety of that. So let's have a look. I think that's actually behind me. But to map something this big, you'll have to do multiples. I don't usually bother mapping things this big. But we can give it a go. you got to watch out for the rings, though. So that's one. I'm going to do one round the back. We'll go all the way out onto the line. Don't want to hit the ring. And then we do one. These are horizon shots. 
because it's so big you'll see you need 21 probes to pro to fully map this one usually i just go around the clock so all of these horizon shots And you can actually see the back of it by toggling the back side of the planet. If you want them to do slightly on the front, just come in about halfway. Click. And you just use as many as you need. And to get them around the back, just shoot about halfway off the miss. I mean, there is an optimal way of doing these, but this is just the basics. So, there, that is the horizon. This is the back. And you just keep on going until you map it all. Like I say, you can see the back of it. By clicking B. So you can see how well you're doing. It looks like it needs a couple more around the back there. And one more on there. So you can see these blue areas, that's the bits that are mapped, and the black areas are not. So you can just see that one impacting there. And there we go. And that's how you do it. And I hope that uh, helps you out. It's best to do it when you're standing still as well. So just bear that in mind. And I hope that helps. If you've got any questions about Elite, please feel free, please feel free to ask in the comments. And I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.